Hello, welcome back. It is Saturday, the 6th of April, and I have a food pantry visit to share with you. My name is Laura. I had a baby a year ago tomorrow, and we are at this stage of regrowth in our hair. And we're normalizing what pregnancy does to your body. Um, I have three kids. I stay home. My husband works more than full time. And we still have a very small food budget and not a lot left over after all the bills get paid. So I um, utilize the food bank to help stretch our grocery budget so that oh, sorry we can get things that we need like fruits and vegetables. I try to not buy a lot of junk at the store and I have dogs at my house. I'm dog sitting for some extra money and I have to let them in. One second. So at the food pantry that I visited today, you are allowed to go once a month and you are allowed to shop for the items you like. There are have to be by me hold on sorry I'm sitting and they all came in the kitchen to um they wash my hair to find me that's not dirt I've said that before there's a scratch on my wall from when we moved in um but you're allowed to to shop so they have certain they have three colors and then you have a card with your color and it goes by your family size and you're allowed to take that many items that are marked on the little thing that hangs in front. So it might say this shelf is five items or one item. Or if you're a family of a yellow family, you get one. If you're a, blue, a red family, you get two. If you're a blue family, you get three. Just depends. Um, I haven't ever gone on a Saturday. It's really hard for me to get there. I um, haven't gone for two months because I was going to go in February in January and the car broke so we only had one car we're bar we still broken we're borrowing one um and then last month it just it's just really hard it's really hard because I have both girls and the amount of stuff you get trying to push them in a stroller while pushing a cart or and I can't let them run free well one doesn't can't even walk so and the other one would just run crazy she just she'd probably be in like the box of apples before I could even know it so I wanted to go today because then Josh could go with me and help me and pick things too which is nice um I don't know what I said because I keep getting interrupted and I'm tired so let's let's see what I got and since I'm not I don't I'll just say it now if you feel like you need help in any way and having some extra food would help you visit your local food pantries. I have resources below. You can, um, sorry, I got a text. Uh, resources below to help you find something local to you or you can send me an email and I will try and help you find something as well. There's a lot of us on here that have kind of become YouTube friends and if I can't find anything, they're really good at it too. So we can all band together to help you. You deserve to eat. You deserve to eat. You deserve to not have to worry about what you're going to feed yourself or your family. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you and your kids. Maybe it's you and your grandma. Whatever. Whoever. Whatever. Nobody. It's nobody's business. If you feel like you need it, that's your business. I don't care where your money comes from. I don't, I don't care. It's not, us, not our place to judge anybody else using it. Because we don't know their life. We don't know their story. We don't know how much they make. Maybe they had a bill and that took all their grocery money and they pull up into Lexus. Do people, Lexuses are still a thing, right? I don't know, I don't have, I have an old Toyota. Um, but just because someone might look like they are doing well, you never know. I get comments all the time, like, oh, well you should sell that. Or why do you have that if you're poor? We're not always all poor all the time. Sometimes we're rich. Oh, I was never rich. Sometimes we have more money than we used to, like when I used to work. I'm just rambling. Anyways, let me show you this food. 
Okay, this is your preview. This is nuts. I even had to use the high chair as the bakery section. First, we're going to start in the meat aisle. We have, you were allowed to choose one of each meats, but there was a sausage section, but it was full of turkey. But you, you were supposed to pick two, so I got two turkey things. This big, 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 big thing, four, three pounds of ground turkey. Four pork chops. I just totally lost my train of thought again. Also, if you're new here, I have ADHD and we normalize mental health on this channel. So it's one pound total. I don't eat fish, but other people in my house do. This is some smoked Atlantic salmon. Beef fine cubes. This looks like it came from, I don't even know what store, oh, maybe that's Walmart. Oh my gosh, they're all in here, one second. Can you get them? They busted through my box gate. And then this was in the, supposed to be sausage section and it's just turkey thighs. Oh, I've never had a turkey, th well, I mean, I've had a whole turkey, but never just thighs. Oh, and I missed one. And this was in the chicken section, it's a organic, Whole chicken, which this probably is like $15 at the store, to be honest. Whole organic meat like that is very expensive. I'm going to come do a little crazy thing. So two, you were allowed two sour creams. And then they had this Tillamook strawberry um, cream cheese spread, which is my oldest one's favorite cream cheese. And then this was interesting. It's just as reduced fat American, but I've never seen this brand before. Bone, bone guards, bone guards. And I thought maybe it was sliced, but it's just a big old chunk of American cheese. But I love to put American cheese in eggs. It makes them really creamy. So happy about that. Two packs of 18 slices of mozzarella cheese and I'm all out of deli cheese. So very, very grateful for that. Then we have our bread it's not in the bakery section but these ranch generals those are really nice to make little sandwiches for the little girls or just even one for myself we have a rosemary olive loaf that you bake and then josh grabbed this i don't even know what it is because it was unlimited for bread sesame seed french bread so you were allowed as much bread as you wanted but that is what i picked then we have a chicken ranch roll you're allowed one of these i don't know I think it's like kind of like a burrito. Some Hatch Chili Mild Salsa. And this is a very expensive grocery store in our neighborhood. The one in Ogden where I'm at always has rotten produce, which is crazy to me because it's such an expensive grocery store. But down in Salt Lake, this was like the fancy one. And they have this amazing pasta salad that I actually really like. So I'm excited for that. I hope it's good. It's the Tuscan pasta salad. I like to throw some cheese in it. Ooh, I can put my mozzarella and then the big one is going to be so excited about this she loves dragon fruit and have you looked at the prices of dragon fruit they are like eight dollars a dragon fruit and i'm not ex that is not an exaggeration like sometimes i do they're seriously like five to eight dollars for and if they're the yellow one holy moly they're expensive so she's gonna love that some bananas they look kind of bruised but they there wasn't many left and it looks more like some of them just are bruised because they're at the bottom of the box a thing of green beans. I love fresh green beans. And this was interesting. It's a saute cheesy pesto rice kale flour, flour and broccoli. I don't know if it has like a sauce. Oh, it has a sauce in there. Right there. So that looks interesting to try. And then two salad kits. Ultimate cheddar ranch. Then we have two boxes of toasted Wheaties. And that's like the fancy brand. Mom's best. It's a fancier one. And some Cheerios. I thought this was like some kind of shake. I did not read. But it's a turmeric cinnamon lion's mane, which is a really good mushroom for you. And I don't like mushrooms, but I've taken this in pill form. It's really good for your brain health. Um, but it's like a super brain blend coffee. And coffee creamer. I thought that was super interesting. And then these are just the instant ones. These are great just to have... If something happens and you need a cup of coffee and you don't have a coffee maker, you can just do a little instant cup and that's Starbucks. 
a oatmeal, instant oatmeal box, a pack of spaghetti, and then I guess we'll do the almonds because it's by the drinks. Uh, whole roasted shelled almonds. Usually they're not roasted, so that was cool. I don't like Mountain Dew as a soda, but Josh does, so a big Mountain Dew. Two Raspberry Rosé sparkling waters. I love sparkling water too. You are allowed, for our family size, five Pepsis. And then five drinks on this section. So I grabbed this Zero Sugar Kroger brand ginger ale because those are always good to have on hand for tummy aches or um, gut issues, which we have in this house. And then this Waterloo Orange Vanilla. That sounded good. And the middle one likes to think she's drinking soda when I give her these. So she feels included. And then this was super cute. It's just a little Martinelli's pear cider. Okay, it's kind of wonky here. Two two-pound bags of rice. We eat a lot of rice in this house to stretch meals. So, so happy and grateful. Holland Dawes sauce. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Maybe I'll make eggs binny tomorrow. I think I actually have some um, English muffins that I got tucked in the dog freezer. You'll have to ask me about that. I'm not going to explain that. So peanut butter, a big box of... It's two pounds of Ben's Original Rice. These are the little um, packets for your salad dressing that you can make salad dressing or marinade. And there's four packs in there of Zesty Italian. So you're allowed three boxes in the rice section. So I grabbed a Spanish rice and a fried rice because I thought those are great sides that we can zhuzh up and add stuff to. Two things of ramen chicken. And there are four boxes of mac and cheese you are allowed. And then I was able to get a pack of number three diapers and a pack of number four. But the three, I think, wound up in the girls' room already. But that I'm so grateful for because we have booties and diapers still at this house. And then there's two chicken breasts and then the rest are tuna. One, two, three, four, five tuna, two chicken breasts. This was super cool. It's 24 bottles of Pediasure. And you're allowed one of those. And the baby is off of formula as of tomorrow. So those will be great. And then we got all these cans. Cans and cans for days. Sam, so, how am I going to do this? I guess we'll just go across. So there's some red kidney beans and then one, two, three, four, five black beans. And then I got three of these Amy's soups because my mom is coming next month. And I thought that would be really great to have on hand for her. Or even for us. But I was kind of thinking of her. Um, you know. Because she's my mom. And then some green beans. There are four cans of green beans. Two cans of corn. I thought this was really interesting. It's red beans and rice in a can. I wanted to try that. It was by the chili. We were allowed. I don't remember how many. I just grabbed two. Um, I said the corn. Shoot. That almost got my toe. And then I've never tried the green tomatoes. I thought that was interesting, so I grabbed one of those, and then two diced tomatoes, and then some tomato sauce, and then three mandarin oranges, the one that almost hit my toe is right there, the big one loves those for a snack, cream of mushroom, spaghetti rings, I grabbed this for her, for her, I thought maybe she'll like it, I don't know, for school lunch, because they have a microwave there, two spaghettios, I already talked about the chili. And then cream of chicken, one, two, three. And then two cans of cannelli beans, which are white kidney beans. Just learn that. Those are those green beans I was talking about. Three things of organic pumpkin. And two great northern. Oh, I have another cannelli. I mixed them up. Whatever. Garbanzo. So all those cans. And then we will finish off with the dessert section. We've got a lot of desserts this time. Um, they were in different spots. So we got two things of cookies, frosted and sprinkle. And I got these for Josh for his lunch this week for a treat. Macadamia little cookies. And then this pie was in a totally different section too. And they were handing these out. But it was funny. She said she didn't open the box. She didn't realize they were behind her. So it was almost... We were like 35 in line. And... She just realized they were there. It was funny. She was like, now we have all these pies. And then Josh grabbed this. It's just frosting. 
So, there you have it. I hit pause on accident, sorry. There you have it. That is our visit. So blessed, so grateful. This is gonna help my family so much. And sorry, my nose is running. There's what today it snowed twice and then got sunny. And when it does that, my like sinuses just go nuts. But this is also stuff that I wouldn't buy. I'm not gonna buy a lot of this stuff because I don't have money for a Martinelli's sparkling cider. But it's a great treat for someone in this house. Or I'm not gonna buy a bag of dragon fruit because again, it's expensive. Sometimes when we go to the um, Asian store, they'll have them cheaper and then she gets it for a treat, but they're really expensive and they're one of her favorite fruits. So I wanna buy them for her, anything to get her to eat fruit. She's very picky, but yeah. So thanks for stopping by.